All right, welcome back. Let's uh, continue uh, talking about um, uh, using uh, React Native uh, elements to build uh, applications. Uh, so yesterday we uh, we got started on uh, React Native, uh, and uh, we pointed out the fact that uh, uh, we um, you know all the all the uh, all what we've learned on how to build React. Uh, uh, applications, uh, we can uh, uh, use a, a, most of that knowledge uh, to build mobile applications. And that the uh, biggest uh, difference is that uh, uh, instead of uh, targeting a, a DOM application, right, instead of manipulating dynamically um, an HTML a DOM on the browser, instead we are re replacing that with uh, special uh, elements that target a, a specific uh, mobile uh, framework, right, either iOS, uh, Android. Um, and uh, and uh, and just like uh, in in uh, in in our DOM world, we have libraries uh, that uh, simplify the the uh, development, uh, like Bootstrap and jQuery and whatnot. Uh, same thing, right? We have uh, equivalent of those libraries, uh, but that target mobile uh, development. And one one of those libraries that we uh, mentioned yesterday was uh, React Native Elements, and we um, we installed it. Uh, installed icons, and uh, we went through some uh, simple examples on uh, being able to build a, um, like a header, right, and style it, uh, or even uh, hide it. Uh, then uh, we took a look at uh, several um, uh, several other elements, such as the text element that allowed us to display different size uh, headings. Um, uh, just you know that, that uh, try to try to. Uh, replicate what we would do in a in a DOM environment, um, you know, different size headings. Um, we saw that uh, we can style these these elements by adding padding or background colors, foreground color, uh, very similar to way, the way we do it on the um, uh, using CSS. Uh, so these are or equivalent properties, but they're not uh, they're, they're being applied to uh, 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 to native uh, elements. Uh, we look at dividers. Uh, we looked at some uh, default icons uh, that are useful uh, for, um, you know, for giving clues on what, uh, 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 you know, visual clues on, on what to do, and what actions to take. Um, and we, this is where I think we, 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 we left off, right? We were going to start looking at other, uh, some more advanced elements, such as the lists uh, elements, that is going to be very useful uh, for, our, um, for, the, for, the, uh, for the assignment, right? Being able to create a list of things. Uh, in this particular case, we're looking to create a list of um, of questions, right? Because a uh, an exam uh, might be a um, a container of questions, right? A list of questions. So, so let's uh, let's take a look at uh, using uh, lists to uh, to create a list of items. Uh, so here's the simplest uh, of the of lists. You just use the uh, list item uh, element in the uh, React Native element uh, library. And uh, and they render uh, as this, right? They, they they take up the entire width of the uh, um, of the screen uh, with a, a chevron, a right uh, hand chevron, uh, that is uh, meant for you to um, presumably navigate, right? As you click on one of these uh, items, presumably uh, the default would be to navigate somewhere else, right? allowing you to build kind of like a, a summary and a details uh, kind of a uh, navigation. Uh, so let's uh, let's play around with this. We had a uh, Created a uh, a project to uh, to experiment, um, and it was on the I believe it was this one, right? Simple uh, exam native editor. Uh, let's uh, navigate there. Uh, let's see. We were, and that's where it's in the uh, web dev lectures and the lectures. So let's go uh, up one. Um, uh, let's go up two. And um, web dev. All right, so let's go down to lectures, and we had created the uh, simple exam native editor. So let's go in there, and we can just start from from the command line, and um, and then um, it'll give us options to either run a, on our on our mobile phone or or to send it to our simulator. Uh, yeah, so with I, we'll send it to the iPhone iOS uh, emulator. And it will kick it off in a minute. All 
There it is. And while that's happening, let's uh, bring our editor. Uh, let's uh, bring this down so we can see this. All right, notice that it's uh, using the, uh, the Expo um, application that uh, you can send it a packaged uh, native uh, compiled um, uh, application and then it, uh, it renders it on the, uh, on the Expo. So it's a nice uh, development environment so you can, you can, uh, you can uh, do r rapid prototyping you know, code right away on your, uh, on your project and immediately recompiles and redeploys. Um, all right, so let's, uh, let's uh, create a little um, screen where we can have perhaps a list of things. Um, uh, so let's see. Uh, let's uh, create here um, uh, another file in here, and this might be, this might be um, uh, exam, exam.js. And exam.js might be a list of questions, yes? Uh, so, so in here, we might um, uh, bring the uh, list item. Well, first of all, we'll, we'll need to import React from React. Uh, we'll probably also need to import a couple things from, um, uh, from the native React native uh, elements library, such as the list item. Uh, this one will 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 uh, import a list item, so it will be import um, list item from the React native elements. Okay, uh, and uh, let's uh, let's create a class here that we're going to export default, and this will be an exam, and this extends um, component and component. Let's uh, let's bring component out of here, so component from the React library. So this extends component. Um, and uh, oh, export export default class, right? There we go. And in here we can do um, a render, uh, and we're going to return. And what we're going to return is a list of uh, of items. Okay. Uh, and uh, here we have a couple of, couple of items that we already have. All right. Which we're just going to grab this. I'll probably we'll put a um, a view uh, to to uh, to group together everything, right? Like a like an um, like a div, and that that view is actually one of the one of the uh, out of the box uh, elements that uh, come with the React Native. So we'll have to import that. Okay. Um, all right. So. Now that we have that, we can uh, now load this uh, from wherever we want to display it. So we'll go to the root uh, component, which I believe is app.js. Uh, and in here, we'll, we'll load that, that exam. So we'll say, uh, we'll say import uh, exam uh, from elements, and then exam. There it is. And uh, we'll put it right under the fixed header. So this will be maybe exam. There we go. Uh, let's see if this uh, loads again. All right, it's, it's complaining in the sense that I cannot find text. It probably in our exam, yeah, we're referring to text, and we never. Uh, that's one of the uh, the elements that come out of uh, from the React Native library. So let's load that, and there it is. So we have uh, we have lists uh, uh, um, uh, rendered there, and notice that uh, right now they're empty. That there's nothing in it. Uh, we probably might want to put some padding around that. Um, so we could we could style the um, the view here. Oh, probably this this text is a, uh, it's not the one that comes from uh, the native one, but actually we meant to use the the one that comes from the uh, React Native element, which has a styling of H2, H1, H3, right? Which you can give it a a shortcut styling of the of the size. Uh, plus, we can might maybe want to style this um, with the uh, padding. Uh, of uh, five, of or fifteen pixels, perhaps. There we go. Okay. All right. So that's that's it, right? So this item is uh, allows you to render individual uh, uh, elements 
Uh, and, um, and obviously, the, 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 the interesting part would be for this to be dynamic, right? where uh, either you read it from a server, it, you know, what are the uh, questions in the exam for a given exam, for a given topic, for a given lesson, for a given whatever, right? You retrieve the, and then you would dynamically render them here in, an, in, a, uh, in a loop, right? in, a, um, in a map that iterates over the, uh, the questions and renders one individually. Uh, so let's see if we could do that. Uh, we, can, we can give them specific titles. Uh, and it uh, has several, several uh, sections. Every, each uh, each uh, uh, list item has multiple sections. Uh, one of them is the main title of the question, of the, of the outline item, plus a, um, a, a description or, or a smaller title that goes underneath uh, that has a, a smaller font, right, that you can give it a, a brief uh, description of that below that main title. So this, this is a component that already comes with placeholders, right, for you to fill in uh, what it is that you want. So it's already pre-styled for you. Okay? Um, so yeah, there we go. We have uh, question one through five. Uh, and uh, we, can, we can then uh, add subtitles, such as, let's, uh, as uh, multiple choice and fill in the blanks and, um, and each, each type of, uh, of question. So let's, let's add subtitles for these two. There we go. So we have a question one and question two with subtitles, such as the multiple choice, fill in the blanks, right, and uh, other, other types that you might want to put in there. Uh, plus, you can add other styling uh, elements, such as uh, um, adding icons to the left-hand side, icons to the right-hand side. If you, don't want, if you don't like the uh, right chevron, you can change that, but that's the default right icon. Uh, but you can change the left icon from the left-hand side. So uh, let's, uh, let's uh, change the, the left-hand side icons. Yeah, so let's um, let's change the the first uh, two with title. Wait, did I remove one? One, two, four, five. Oh, I must have copied it wrong, huh? Okay, I must have pasted it wrong. Um, all right, so, so there we go. So we have uh, question one and question two uh, with a, like, it's a multiple choice. It looks like a, uh, you know, uh, several choices there. Fill in the blanks, uh, kind of like a code or a, 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 a generic uh, icon there that, you, that presumably you want to fill in, right? All right, so you, you can definitely style this. Uh, and the, the, the more interesting part would be f to do this dynamically, right? If, if somebody gives you an array, uh, either a hard-coded array or an array that you fetch from, from a server. Uh, so first, let's, uh, let's explore uh, just um, having a, a local constant array, uh, like a list such as this, right? And then we can iterate over this and, and dynamically render these. Uh, so let's, uh, let's copy this, uh, this constant array, and let's uh, paste it um, right above this um, component. Oh, it didn't copy. Uh, there it is. And uh, so instead of having this uh, hard-coded uh, list item, what we could do is instead iterate over that, right? We can iterate over the, um, uh, the well, this might be questions, questions of the, in the exam. And you can then map over them. Uh, and very much like uh, we did uh, in the doing, uh, uh, iterating over DOM, right? Uh, so this would give you each question as you iterate. Uh, and so we would return a list item, okay, whose um, whose title uh, might be the question dot title. Let's see. Oh, there they are, right? So one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Um, and notice that it's complaining the same complaint that we got in the browser about the keys, not, not having the unique keys. Uh, but uh, we do have the unique keys. Uh, they, we can either use the, uh, the IDs. Actually, we don't have an ID, right? Uh, but that's OK. In the map, uh, you get actually two arguments, right? Uh, here, we're only looking at just the first argument. But the second argument, 
if you have if you just have one argument, you can just uh, uh, the parentheses are optional, right, in this function call. Uh, but if you have more than one argument, you need to have the um, the parentheses. So the second argument is the index, right, of uh, what what is unique index for that particular element that you you're iterating over. Uh, so we can use that index as a, as a key, as a unique key identifier. So we can say key, and then index, uh, and then that that uh, that mess, that um, warning uh, should go away, right? Uh, Okay. Uh, plus, we can uh, we can add a couple more things like the subtitle. So we can use the subtitle, and this would be a subtitle. It would be the question subtitle, and then we have our subtitles, right? The multiple choice, uh, the fill in the blanks, and whatnot. Okay. Uh, plus the icon. We could do something similar uh, with the left icon. And we can configure, oh, copy, uh, left icon, and this would be question, and then the icon. There we go. So we have the icons on the left-hand side, a, uh, like you know, true and false, a check mark, essay. Right, so and, and obviously, you would pr uh, go through any applicable uh, icons that you, you feel um, are useful. OK? That's it, right? So that's, that's the beginning of, of uh, rendering lists. And the next thing we would need to know how to do is that if you click on any one of these, right, we'd like to be able to navigate right, to another page right, so that you can configure that particular question. Right? So if it's, a, if it's a multiple choice, you need to provide all the choices. If it's a true and false, you need to provide a description and whether the, the actual answer is true or false. Right? So each one will have a separate editor right, for, each, for each individual. Uh, for each individual um, uh, question type. All right, so let's do that next. Right? So let's, uh, let's learn about uh, navigating uh, from one place uh, to another. And, and also, we'll, we'll need to learn how to create these forms. Right? Yeah, so may, maybe it'd be a bit better to look at how to create the forms first, and then we'll take a look at uh, how to navigate you know, for, to the forms. All right, so let's look at that. <coughs>